Okay, it's Pisces time. It's your turn. Ooh. Page of Swords. Page of Swords is very apprentice energy. Um, and, you know, Pisces is very much of like a, a very spiritual. It's the, it's the very last sign of the Zodiac. So there is a sense of that spiritual mastery without really being that connected to the physical how-to. So Aquarius and Pisces can share some like oversights. It's, it's hard to be relatable to really grounded people sometimes for Pisces and Aquarius energies. But the night, the page of pentacles are page of one. I can say this, the page of swords. So the page of swords shows up when we are asked to really grow larger than life, grow larger than our britches, grow, grow larger than what we've ever been before so that we have this capacity for learning on this whole new level, you know, because with apprentices, it's all about absorbing. And if you look even, so pages are that feminine principle. And yes, swords are a masculine energy. But look at the body language. It's very bowed, very open. It's cupping. That's very open to receiving. Receive new information. Receiving new energy. So being prepared for what is to come. So as Pisces is being asked to really connect to what are the things I'm willing to stand up for. It's also what can I, how can I stand up for those things, the things I believe are true to me, while still being open to receiving maybe some more linear kinds of understanding that is not very familiar for Pisces processing. Pisces really likes ideas. Pisces, lo Pisces loves dreams. Pisces loves fantasies. Pisces, like Aquarius, loves ideals and, you know, Things that, that are kind of unquantifiable and things that we have less ability to act in honor of and things that are less, like, logical sometimes. So this card showing up is asking you, like, how can you instigate a change in the way you address problems and the way you confront new and maybe sometimes scary concepts with... Uh, with society and with what we have to deal with internally, how can you approach this in a way that honors exactly who you are but is also willing to say that who I am, that sensitive being that I am, it actually makes me bigger than I've ever seen myself as being. And if I connect truly and wholly and, and really like filter this through, like even if no one joins with me, because Pisces is very much a sign of duality and really wants otherness to be integrated but it's got to be like it got to it got to learn from the virgo shit you know Vi pisces and virgo that's a polarity we have everything to learn from one another so pisces really needs to learn to be alone and recognize that honoring your light is way more important than being accepted and finding your fit finding your other half and if you were open to being an apprentice of life, instead of needing things to fit along with your like idealizations and your fantasies, then maybe just maybe you're asking for, you know, more responsibility and more opportunity and more, a more quick experience of the winds of change in your own life. 